Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Kado. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you're a returning subscriber, then obviously welcome back to another video. So guys, like the title says, today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys and I'm going to show you guys how I crimp my hair. So I'm going to try it for the first time with you guys today and we'll see if I'm able to do it. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Follow me on all my socials, they'll be on the screen and in the description box down below. And yeah, except from that guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So guys, I'm going to start with brushing up my hair and just putting it into sections. This works better if your hair is straightened out. So you want to detangle your wig, you want to do all of that. As you can see, I was just spraying some heat defense spray. You always want to put a heat protectant on your hair. Then going in with my crimpless and like I told you guys, it's my first time doing this. So I'm just trying to work it out find out what way works better for me as you can see that came out very very nice it was a bit too loose i wanted the crimps to be a bit like closer to each other so you just need to go with your crimpler and just like basically press it on where your crimp ends is where you continue if that makes any sense So you just want to like press it together and use heat and just let the heat work itself. As you can see, I kept like curving the ends in because I felt like when I was gripping the crimpler and I was doing that, it was giving like me a more sturdy hold on the crimpler. You do have to hold it on for a bit though, just because like when I kept leaving it for like a little while, it wouldn't crimp properly. So like I would hold it on for a bit and yeah, I can't really explain it to you guys. You just need to work with it. You saw me spraying my hair with a bit of water. I've got water, conditioner, and some hair oil in there. Dry hair oil, as usual. I always tell you guys, I only use dry oil on my weaves so it doesn't weight down. But I found like when my hair was like not like drenched, but like semi wet, it was taken to the heat better. So I just continued to do this basically, um, and then I went off camera and I brushed it out a bit, and I went over the front because it was a bit loose. I still wanted the crimps to be there, but I wanted to have big hair, so I brushed it out a bit, and then I went over the front again. Just like listening to music clearly because you can see me bopping my head. I like to listen to music when I'm doing my hair or makeup. It just like helps the time pass basically. But you guys can see what I'm doing. Just going to go in small portions, press it on for a bit. I'll say leave it on for about 10 seconds or so depending on how hot your crimplers are. So I did I wanted to do a tiny bit of baby hairs so as you can see I'm just going in with my scissors to cut out some of the hair that I want to use I then went in with my motion setting foam so I like to do this first before actually going in with like gel or anything to do my edges I find that it makes it easier to like manipulate and then I went in with my got to be it dries clear and it lasts longer as well guys this video is very quick I hope you found it helpful I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos Thank you.